influence by the um, extraordinary Robert Cialdini, uh, a classic of psychology, and Russia. <laughs> uh, I was thinking earlier this morning, uh, watching on TV Sank some uh, piece of news about um, Emmanuel Macron and the fact that Russia tries to look at his case, maybe influence it. I, I, I didn't, uh, it was uh, w w soundless and I, I was only skipping channels and watching the writing at the bottom. Uh, but regardless of what they do in this particular case with uh, the one who's the front runner in, in the French elections, uh, I understand he passed over the other two. It used to be François Fillon, but he's, he, he's in trouble now. He employed his wife and paid from taxpayers' money over 800,000 uh, euros for work which is uh, doubtful. With it's not yet known if she, the wife did anything, especially since in interviews she said she's not involved in uh, the activity of her uh, spouse. So Macron in the center, young, uh, interesting, with some uh, good ideas, unmatched movement, uh, is... Uh, <coughs> Uh, one of the favorites now and Russia wants to uh, surely see if they, they have something on him if they find pieces they can use and blackmail him eventually as they talk about Trump and his uh, escapades possible escapades in in, uh, in Moscow during the beauty pageants and possibly also to try and uh, eliminate him from the race because they say Fion is a friend of Putin so they rather have someone they can work with like with Trump in America uh, where they hacked into the emails of the Democrats because they didn't like uh, Hillary Clinton uh, and Trump, it seems, has an admiration for, for Putin. He talks about easing the sanctions and um, fight with uh, Putin to eliminate ISIS because he thinks Crimea and other issues are less relevant than uh, his and his uh, advisor's obsession with the Muslim threat. Um, and indeed, uh, I think they use uh, consistency and reciprocity as elements from influence as uh, identified by Cialdini. The reciprocity, they, they make donations. Le Pen, the Front National, National Front in France and other parties, uh, benefit from Russian largesse. They, they send money to their accounts and in return reciprocity uh, Le Pen and others are not critical of the Kremlin. In fact, they, uh, a number of these right-wing uh, extremists um, have good words and same admiration. They share an admiration for, for um, what they see as a tough leader, uh, Putin, who is more like a tyrant than a dictator. Uh, and they like this uh, type and they try and uh, implement it in places like Hungary. Orban is a man who likes the liberal democracy, uh, limit, limited rights, uh, 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 more docile mass media here than in, in, in Turkey. Poland, alas, has taken quite a few steps back since they have the new Kaczynski uh, leader, well, from the shadow, but still. Um, the same thing was somehow planned here. 
um, with the red plate coming to power, they they um, don't like the, what they call Western interference, concern for human rights abuses and corruption, which is what they like and what they are in power for. And here there's a, 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 a rapprochement, a closeness with the Kremlin clique elite who em, embezzle people uh, who, who become really rich. We remember the case of uh, revealed in the Panama pa Papers of a uh, 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 violinist. No, no, it is a playing the cello, playing a musical instrument, and uh, at the same time he's a billionaire. How, how do you become a billionaire by playing the violin or another musical instrument? Well, by becoming a friend of Putin. Uh, and uh, they like this model here, they try to eliminate many uh, corruption offenses. and. Um, Russia has uh, been praising them in Russia today and I don't know some of their other uh, state-controlled uh, uh, media. And once consistency, once they have these people saying good things about uh, Putin, they will keep on because people like to show that they're consistent. They use this in Chinese uh, uh, camps in the Korean War. They made uh, American prisoners say a few nice things like Russia, uh, China has no unemployment and then they had to move on and say really serious good things about China. 